Today, I have Mr. John Nepper from Sycamore, Illinois, Northern Illinois, and he's on the call here with us, and I've known John. How long have we known each other, John? I think probably eight or nine years, at least. Hey, at least that. I can go back and look, but John's just been a great agent, really a uh, uh, self-starter, I guess is a good word, but, but um, and a Medicare, really focused on Medicare, primarily Medicare supplement. And we've we've worked together with a lot of different carriers over the over the last several years. And we just recently just recently bought his book. And but uh, this one has a little bit different twist to it than because he's not retiring. Right, buddy? That's it. Yeah. Can't so. Retire. That's right. That's right. Um, no, I started this business um, about 12 years ago. Um, I turned. 65 and I was busy with uh, family stuff and whatnot. And uh, I got bored. So I decided I should do something. And uh, a fellow came over to talk to my wife about her, her major medical coverage. And I, by that time I was on Medicare, but uh, my family business before had taught me quite a bit about health insurance. So he, he would say something to her and then she'd look at me and I'd interpret it. <laughs> and then he'd say something again to her and she'd look at me and I'd interpret it. <laughs> and uh, so she left the room for a few minutes to get a policy. And he said, have you ever sold insurance? And uh, of course I hadn't. And uh, so he said, well, you know, we could, we could probably do some business. So one thing led to another and um, he wasn't real ethical guy, but uh, <laughs> But uh, he got me into the business, and uh, so I've been in the business now for about 12 years, uh -huh. uh, self-taught on everything. <laughs> and right. um, at one point, I've had, I guess I've had in total about uh, seven or eight different uplines. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't meet you guys until after it was, after I had already had all those guys. Uh, hey, now listen, we've already bought your book. You don't have to butter us up on this. <laughs> Well, right. it's true. It's true. Um, um, uh, the other uplines have not had any kind of um, uh, personal uh, affiliation like you have, and I appreciate that. Yeah. But the bottom line is, now that I've had um, my wife is spoiled rotten because I haven't had had haven't spent time with her, but so I've got to get back to the horse and uh, and beat her up a little bit, and so I've decided to uh, <laughs> to to retire. But I still want to be busy, and uh, I'm not sure what I would do if I weren't doing this. Yeah. I don't play golf, and I don't uh, go hunting and things like that. So yeah. um, I want to stay active and, and moving. Yeah. So um, what we what we arranged uh, was for me to sell my existing book for uh, to you guys and yeah. have to take over the uh, – take over the maintenance of those existing customers and yeah. while well, I can continue to um, be in the business and uh, concentrate on, on uh, new business, yeah. people trying 65. And, uh, yeah. and so it's, uh, it, it's been a challenge to make the switch because of all those different uh, yeah. uplines. And, and of course, because I continued to sell some business after we had, come to a, a, our yeah. first evaluation. You, you were a tester on that part. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but it has worked out and uh, I've been very pleased. Good, 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 good. So I, I, I appreciate all that. I'll throw in a little bit on this. So like John said, he, um, we've been talking really for maybe a year or so kind of off and on, but we, we got together just a couple months back now and he decided that he was ready to sell his book. He had a really, really nice book of mainly uh, Medicare supplement customers, but he wasn't ready to retire, even though, you know, you guys can do the math and kind of figure out how old he is, but uh, you know, he wasn't ready and he's still, still a uh, really a viable salesperson. And what, from an FMO point of view, why wouldn't we want somebody that we, we enjoy working with, we trust them, they're doing a great job, they care about people, why wouldn't we want them out there selling policies? That's that's what we want from everybody. So we kind of put our heads together and said, what if we buy your book, like he said, take over 
the service and the admin of all the customers that you built and then separate that for you going forward where you kind of have a lot of that day-to-day responsibility off your back, but you can still sell, you know, cause he's got a, he really has a great marketing system that he's, he's kind of polished and created on his own. That just feeds you business. Doesn't it? Pretty yeah. regularly. Yeah. yeah. So kind of what we did getting down in the weeds a little bit was in his case, we bought his book and then we transitioned him to, to come to work with us as an as a license only agent. He's still making the same commission he's always made. There's no, there's no cut in that, but all of his commissions run through us now going forward before we pay them back back to him. And uh you want to say anything about that or you well I, yeah I I initially had little apprehension about that because I like to, I'm, I'm kind of anal retentive. Yeah. <laughs> I like to be in control, mm-hmm. but when I think about it, um, someday I'm going to uh, hit the trail for the upper, upper plains and uh, I won't be around. And uh, this kind of an arrangement makes it easy for my wife to, um, to get rid of it. And uh, without having to, go through the kinds of hassles that we've had some from some of these carriers that I've worked with. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's, it's really, I, uh, you know, I think it's a great, great model. It's a great concept, especially if you're an agent that does a lot of med advantage, because the problem with med advantage is if you, if you die and most people don't recertify after they die, I don't know if you knew that or not, (laughs) <laughs> but if you don't recertify and you don't have a place for that business to go, a licensed certified rep, then those carriers claw that business back. Yeah. And it's it's there's really nothing you can do about it. Whereas if it's ran through us, then as, then it really solves a huge problem on the Medicare Advantage side that if somebody does pass away or they become incapacitated, we can already have an agreement in place how we're going to take care of the wife or the beneficiaries and you don't, you don't have to have to worry about that. So what, you know, what else I, I, uh, you know, you're, you're different, but I think one other thing I'd like for you to speak to it, you know, just even if you really slow way, way down now and you just, you don't ride very much, you're just, you, you don't need to, but let's just say you don't psychologically, but you're still engaged. Don't you think like psychologically for the guy that's getting close to retiring, it's and for most of us, that's like like you just hate to just end it, you know, like, well, what am I gonna do if I, you know, if I just end it, end it, yeah, I I really be ready to do that. And and you you wanna talk to that or yeah, I I really like this week. We're we're up in Door County this week. Um in the past, when I've gone to Door County, I've had to bring my laptop. Of course, I bring the laptop anyway, but I'd be on the phone <laughs> a few times a day. Uh, and if I weren't on the phone a couple of times a day, I would be concerned that I've got a client or two that I should be talking to that I'm not. Yeah. And the psychological pressure of, of doing the right thing yeah um was was uh, a hindrance to uh, any kind of a vacation yeah now um <laughs> I'm, I'm doing this uh, zoom call mm-hmm. and uh that's about it for the rest of the week <laughs> I, you know i don't have anybody uh, i don't yeah. have anybody i have to call yeah um and it's much more relaxing it's just uh okay. and yet if i weren't doing this i don't know what i'd be doing yeah and, and too many people that I know have retired and um, decided to uh, retire and didn't have any significant hobbies. They didn't have any um, business to continue. Yeah. They just curl up and watch TV and die. Yeah. It's, it's, that's the way it happens. Yeah. I hear you. No, I, I, we're going to make a big deal about this and kind of continue to fine tune it. But the, the 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 fifteen second 
summary is this is a way, guys, that if you you know you're close to retirement, but you're not ready to just to pull the plug all the way, let us buy your book. Let's give you the best value we can. Come to agreement on that. We'll take over the book. But then you then come to work with us, and you're not going to take a haircut in any way on your commission. But that allows you to go out, and you can still sell at your leisure, we'll say, or at the pace that you want to without having to take care of all the service and the things that you've been, you know, kind of strapped to do as your books have gotten bigger. So yep. um, I like it. I think it's I think it's going to – I think a lot of other guys, it will – kind of accelerate them and give them the, give them kind of the nudge to go ahead and do it. You know, I think it's, what, about, uh, what else you want to wrap yeah. up with, buddy? Um, have a great day. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Well, John, thank you, man. I appreciate, appreciate the time. And I think this will help a lot of guys at least open up the door or cause some questions and phone calls and, that's what we're always looking for to see how we can uh, partner together and help. So, hey, enjoy your time up in Door County. <laughs> we yeah. will.